What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. My name is Chris, thank you so much for joining me. In today's episode, we're gonna explore the top 1,000 stores on eBay. So where do I rank? I'm number 9,323. Um, I have roughly 15,361 items in my store. Um, in the last 30 days, I have roughly 577 feedback and I'm at like $52,000 a month in sales. You can go to your performance tab, uh, click on sales and get an idea of where you are at for the month and see how you rank amongst the top sellers. So I find it interesting because you guys know I run a Facebook group um, with Tech and Sports. He's number 872. So he's actually where I wanna be. I wanna be in the top 1,000 and it looks like you need around 2,000 feedback per month which is a long ways to go for me because I'd have to basically do five times the volume to get there because I'm only at you know, 573 feedback. So it's gonna take a while for me to get into the top 1,000, but challenge accepted, why not? Go for it. Um, and I think there are around 7 million sellers on eBay. So please go to topratedseller.com, not sponsored, it's, it's a free site. Type in your store and let me know in the comment section below what number you rank out of 7 million eBay sellers. I'm number 9323. So hopefully I can crack the top 1,000 in the next year or two. But let's explore some of the stores that are in the top 1,000. And I picked a few. I tried to pick all US sellers so that we can kind of get an idea of what they're doing. And, you know, before we go into that, because I want to share what I'm doing in my own store and I want to talk about um, maybe what I would like to improve first before we get into other people's stores. So I'll look at my most recently listed items. Um, I do use edited photos, but I do feel like it slows me down. If I did not use edited photos, um, I probably would have a much larger store and be higher up in the rankings. Um, the one thing that I like is uniformity, so all of my photos look very similar. Um, the color is very accurate, so I don't have a lot of returns because of the color. Um, I use a photo box and editing software to make sure that the photos look the same every single time. So it does it does create a uniform look. Um, I don't do free shipping, so I charge $7.99 flat rate shipping for all of my items just because it's easier. I do have best offer turned on because some people will say, oh, I wish I could get a little bit of a break on the item. No problem. I'll give you a little bit of a break on the item. So some people will offer, you know, whatever the price of the item is with free shipping. But um, just for me personally, most of my store looks exactly the same. The way for me to get to the next level probably would be to stop editing my photos and maybe get a little bit of a better product mix. Um, where I live, the, the items aren't as great as other places in the country. So I'm kind of limited based on what is around me. So I have to really improve my sourcing if I want to improve my sell through rate. I think it's pretty good for the stuff that I sell, which is just basic mall brand clothing. Nothing in my store is really special. It's just stuff that you would find at any thrift store. So if I were to improve the items in my store, I would get more feedback and I could pivot, you know, get this number to hopefully I can get to over 100,000 by the end of the year. I should be able to get there. No problem. But let's start reviewing some stores also in our Facebook group it's it's most of the people in the group do less than 30 items a day um, I launch between 70 and 200 items per day the average seller I would say lists between 5 and 30 items a day there's just people just getting started here's a lady who is now at um, she sold seven yesterday so this is awesome She's just getting started. Look at her sell through rate, it's fantastic. So it's for all levels. I'm not preaching that you need to list a lot of items. That's not my prerogative. I'm just saying everyone should do the best they can with what they have around them. For some people it's five, for some people it's 9,000 listings a day. It depends on your level. But let's look at some big stores and see what we can learn. So this is second sale. Um, one of the largest stores, um, they might be top 100 or maybe top 10. Um, 1.29 million feedback. Um, so you're looking at this, you know, it looks like they have around four, 400,000 sales a, um, a month. So that's more than 10,000 sales per day. Uh, kind of insane. So this is, you know, a very, very large store. I think they might be the same store as Magpie, which is the largest store on eBay. But it's interesting to go in here and look at what kind of things that they do. So they have promotions if you buy more than one item. I, I, I could add that because I, I currently do not have a promotion if you buy more. Um, here's a, let's see, they do free shipping, free returns on some items. I think that might be a good idea. This book, I, I definitely recommend the seven habits of highly effective people. So at $3.50, they might lose money or break even on this book. I mean, that's crazy. That's a really, really low price. But again, maybe that 
traffic really helps boost the entire store but that's that's insanity 2450 sold of this book um that i highly recommend so maybe you guys should hop on on ebay and buy this book from them because it's it's really really helped me uh personally so they are a media seller so you can see the most of the largest sellers are definitely uh media sellers um so Something, something to consider. Um, you wouldn't have necessarily feedback problems um, when it comes to condition because that's not why people are getting negative feedback. And you, we can actually read through their defects and see why people are unhappy. So you can see how difficult it would be to do this. So it says uh, the description reads very good, but there was no CD. Um, see, out of 15 songs, six had skipping problems. So it's difficult when you're selling media to test every single item. It's showing that um, there are some library books. So I guess people are uh, upset about the actual condition, but it would be impossible for this company to actually answer messages. So maybe some of the negative feedback is because of customer service. But when you're selling thousands of items a day, it would be very difficult to keep up with that. But just something to consider. Maybe go through their store and look at what items you might want to sell yourself. DC Sports 87. Sports cards. Um, very, very hot niche right now. 8,228 items. Let's look at how many sold. 123,000. Goodness. That is insane. So they sold 123,000 items in the last 90 days. This is maybe the highest sell-through count I've ever seen. Okay, ridiculous. Very, 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 very ridiculous sell-through rate. 123,000 items sold in the last 90 days. Wow, that is a lot. So obviously go through here if you're familiar, familiarizing yourself on um, what cards to sell. Just go in here, sort by highest to lowest. Um, start getting an idea of how you too can sell one card for $90,000. 2019, 2020, Zion Williamson, Rookie Patch. Wow, that is ridiculous. $90,000 for uh, a listing. That's like that's like a house in some places in the country. 90000 bucks for one card. We got a Tom Brady rookie card. Wow. Kevin Durant, 2007, rookie card. Wow. Fifty grand. So... Obviously, one of the hottest niches that there is out there. Uh, take a look at DC Sports 87. Let's take a look at how many items they're selling. So maybe about, a, I'd say, 100,000 sales per month, so 3,000 sales per day. Um, very, very good feedback. You know, people are talking about having a banner or a profile. This person doesn't have any of that. All they do is do a lot of listing. Nothing fancy. Let's look at their store. Nothing. They, have, they do have a DC Sports 87 icon, but this you can make in one minute obviously they're not focused on branding they're focused on getting the best items in their store free shipping or best offer um wow they've got a michael jordan ricky card pretty awesome so they're in henrico virginia let's see i love this it's very very straightforward the listing is for the item stated in the title um let's see this is this is a little bit wordy. Um, they're using six bit, which is a software that a lot of companies use that they're, that are high volume. So, pretty cool company. I like it. Very straightforward. Nothing fancy. Actual photos of the item. Literally nothing fancy. Front back. That's it. Nothing really talking about the condition of the card other than like new. So, very cool. Um, Fifteen viewed per hour. Okay, let's go to the next one. The Parts Place Inc. 36,000 items, gigantic store. Um, you know, lower volume, so this is maybe more achievable for some for regular people like myself. 2,842 feedback is around maybe 10,000, nine or 10,000 sales per month. Very strong, still a few hundred items per day. Um, let's take a look at what kind of items they sell. Let's look at sold. So the way I research items is I go to 36,000 results, scroll down, click sold. 8,317 sold in the last 90 days. So that would be, I guess, between eight and 10,000. So really, really strong, strong sales. If we go through here, they're selling carburetors, um, wheels. Wow, 1971-72 Oldsmobile Cutlass Appearance Package Kit. Wow, talk about random. That is something totally off the wall carbon fiber ro fiber rotors so this is obviously a parts company very impressive because you're talking about 
8,000 potentially expensive items. So multi-million dollar store here. Uh, let's look at the recent first. Weather, weather strip, springs, Pontiac emblems. Wow, very, very cool. So this might be a pick apart shop. Who knows how they're able to get these items. But you could probably look them up, the Parts Place Inc. You could reverse engineer where they're located and take a look at their operation because this is a pretty big operation selling 300 auto parts per day. But again, this is something a little bit more achievable for me with 36,000 items because I have 15,000 items. So if I essentially triple the size of my store, you know, uh, I can be somewhere in this ballpark, although their average sale price is much higher than mine. So interesting to take a look at this store, parts store. So we've got media, we've got sports cards, and we've got car parts so far. Next one, four pair teledata, um, 2,068 feedback. So again, guessing around, you know, same as before, 300 sales per day. Um, 5,833, so very, very strong sales, must be replenishables. So here we see an outdoor amplified digital antenna. Impressive, 10,000 sold recently, 45,110 sold. This might be the most sold listing I've ever seen um, on eBay. That's a lot. That's um, $200,000 on just one listing. So um, this is a digital antenna that probably helps people boost their signal. Wow, that is impressive. New 2021 model, best on eBay, same day shipped by 3 p.m. Awesome, Springdale, Arizona. Great job, sir, or uh, ma'am. That's amazing. A, a range of up to 150 miles. Wow, that is incredible. 45,000 sold. I'm in, I'm in shock, that's amazing. 3,552 sold of this microphone pro audio cable. That's very cheap. Um, you can get some potentially more expensive cords for up to 50 to $100 for the same thing. Uh, six foot cord. Um, I use one of these, I use two of these cords with my microphone. This is the Shure SM7B. I just got it because Joe Rogan has it. Um, I spent way more money on the two cords than than these XLR um, cables. So I should have just bought it from the seller, saved myself a, a bunch of money. We've got brackets for TVs, cords, um, basic electronics, fabulous store, 5,000 listings, which is much smaller than mine, but they're still getting the 300 sales per day, which is where I want to be, two, 300 sales is where I want to be. So very cool right you could definitely copy the store if you wanted to start doing the replenishables game and start copying things that sell more often but obviously you need to be the best on ebay or the cheapest on ebay um, probably free shipping free returns and top rated plus and get this fast and free button i mean that's how you that's how you crush listings like this let's look at this um how many they sold so just today, they sold one, two, three, four, five. So impressive, right? This is something that sells every single day. And it makes sense that this type of equipment is selling really fast right now. Next, Zabco Dash Inc. 6,000 items for sale and in that 300 range. So this is where I would need to be to get into the top 1,000. So only 6,000 items. Looks like they're selling basic necessities is what I would guess at first. But look here, Funko Pops. 2,568 sold of the Joker. That is a lot. Okay, so I would I would guess this is an authorized distributor. Maybe not though. Maybe they are buying closeouts. Wow, 1,929 sold of Michael Myers. Prince, 722 sold. Very cool. You see, they're using a uh, strike through pricing, which I find very, very useful. It's a good way to give you even more boost. So free shipping, free returns are seeing pretty common on these super high end stores for volume, strike through pricing. Everyone has fantastic photos so far that we've reviewed. Um, very straightforward, but this is a Funko Pop King. Wow, look at look at how many Funko Pops. Funko Pops and random kitchen supplies so far. Um, non, wow, look at this thing. Norpro non-stick splatter guard, 1,084 sold. I need to get one of my, I need to get one of these because I am tired of cleaning up my, my range. 
This would be fantastic. Look at this. Install this. You just saved yourself some time. You know, on this channel, we try to focus on e-commerce tips, but I'm here to help your culinary adventures as well. That is awesome. I cannot believe how many of these Funko Pops sell. It's literally, there's a lot. There's literally thousands and thousands of Funko Pops sold. I've, I've never seen this type of volume. Amazing. Okay, so only 6,000 results and getting 300 sales a day. That's That's excellent. Let's look at the next one. BHP safety products. Okay. Um, safety goggles, safety gloves. Um, so again, you'll notice a lot of these stores just focus on one category. Um, so does it surprise you that BHP safety products sells safety goggles? Probably not. That's something that I could, you know, daily refinement is the name of my store. It has nothing to do with clothing. So maybe I should change it to uh, fashion for less or something that's related to my actual goal so I can help people do it. Uh, I mean, help people find my items. So 2000 items, they're in the 2000 feedback, they're in the 300 sale. So far, this has been the smallest number of items to reach that goal of 2000 feedback per month. So 1885, they're selling a lot of items uh, in order to get to that level. A 12 pack of safety glasses for $10 and 95 cents is, that's, that's very aggressive. Um, but they did sell one today, so it looks like this item sells almost every single day. I can't imagine they're making a ton of money on this, but I do think it ships first class mail. Maybe 12 is the maximum you can um, sell to to reach that. So they're using volume pricing, another way to uh, improve sales. So BHP safety products, very, very good feedback. 2000, let's look at it again. Yeah, only 11 negative feedback, which is not too bad for a person that's doing this type of volume, 300 a day. You can go through, find out their top sellers, maybe manufacture them yourself. Um, so far, so good. I'm very impressed by it. Finally, 225 Freeway. Um, almost 100,000 feedback. They've got that shooting purple star, impressive. 2,704 feedback in the last... 30 days impressive this is more like 10,000 sales in the last 30 days and again only 7,273 listings so they're replenishables they're selling um, tires or not tires tubing cables wow see I don't know anything about this wires fuses probably things that people order and reorder um, and are just commonly used so very cool connectors terminals um insulation just you know basic stuff that you need for electronics so parts essentially so um i hope this is useful guys let me know if you want more topics like this please go to topratedseller.com and see how you rank amongst the top ebay sellers uh, my colleague tech and sports i think i talk about him enough on this channel so you guys can just look up his store he sells clothing like me um he is, his categories are better than mine. I just sell mall brand clothing that I can find. His is more specific. It has uh, men's clothing and vintage. Uh, mine is just literally easy to find stuff because I don't like sourcing. So me finding all the stuff to go in my stores is pretty easy. Um, and I'd like to grow my sales to at least 100K. So I figure I should be able to do that, even just doubling the common items in my store. And I probably could get there if I just didn't edit my photos because that takes me a long time it takes me probably two hours a day to edit all those photos so if i use those two hours a day just to list more items um maybe i can catch up there and get to that 100k level um i do think probably um i have a higher profit margin than the people who sell brand new things for ten dollars free shipping but i don't know right so i can't i don't know maybe they're getting them for a penny and they're buying them directly from the manufacturer so hope this is useful guys smash the like button join the facebook group with tech and sports and myself it's a patreon.com slash the resource podcast the link will be in the description below we can mentor you no matter what level you are at and help you reach whatever goal you have with the reselling so i appreciate you guys take care